Revelation 3943. From the 25th of December 1946. God's Creative Will. Spiritual and Earthly Creations. The spirit which controls infinity is incessantly active, for his emanation of strength never diminishes, just as he never tires of using the strength for creating and shaping. And thus new creations constantly emerge, both in a spiritual and earthly sense. He causes his thoughts to take on a shape for the redemption of the as yet bound spiritual substances but he also lets spiritual works of wonder arise to delight the beings of light to which all splendors of heaven are revealed. His creative spirit and his creative will are supreme and never-ending and always guided by his boundless love which wants to make everything which has emerged from his strength happy. And even if eternities should pass, there will be no end to new creations because his strength has to take effect in order to increase within itself. Therefore the spiritual being which animates earthly, thus material, creations is in constant contact with the center of strength and, by receiving strength, is able to enter into the circuit of God's flow of love again from which it once distanced itself of its own free will. Thus it increases its own strength just as it furthers the process of redemption of the spiritual beings which still exist outside of the circuit of God's flow of love. All material creations are a means to redeem the spirits, however, spiritual creations are the ultimate object, that is, indescribable pleasure of the redeemed spirits. And God's creative will never diminishes because his love is never ending but he also causes creations to vanish, and that happens if they no longer fulfill their purpose. If the inherent spiritual being lacks the impetus towards advance, if it opposes God's will and averts its own will from him, then he will dissolve what he created, so that the spiritual substance can reach the goal in a different form. Yet this dissolution of his creations is only planned to happen periodically just as his wisdom has recognized from the beginning to be necessary for the constrained spirits within the creations. In contrast, spiritual creations are everlasting, they merely change all the time and ever more glorious formations arise, which no human intellect can possibly imagine and no human heart ever dream of. Yet in every new period of time there will also be even more glorious creations which differ from the previous ones and testify to God's love, omnipotence and wisdom, who reveals himself in all creations. His strength is invincible and therefore he will never cease to be creatively active, yet the soul will only be able to recognize its extent when it has attained a specific state of maturity which enables it to behold spiritual and earthly creations. Only then will it be filled with reverence and love for its creator whose love created it too, in order to make it blissfully happy for all eternity. Amen.